Less than three months away from the election and a real power struggle is intensifying now between congressional Democrats and the president over funding for the U.S. Postal Service. Postal workers across the country say that they are not getting the resources that they need to keep the mail flowing. And now the president acknowledged that he is at least partly opposed to more funds because he doesn't like mail-in ballots. Joe Dana tells us how Arizona leaders are reacting and what it means for our mail service. The president is now saying out loud what many have speculated for weeks. He wants to withhold funding from the U.S. Postal Service to discourage mail-in balloting around the country. Speaking by phone to Fox News Thursday morning, President Trump explains why he doesn't want to grant Democrats extra funding for the U.S. Postal Service. They want $25 billion, billion for the post office. Now, they need that money in order to have the post office work so it can take all of these millions and millions of ballots. But if they don't get those two items, that means you can't have universal mail-in voting. Voting rights advocates are crying foul. His message just underscored what we already know. He wants to play partisan politics and political games instead of ensuring everybody can vote safely in November. The director of voting and elections for the nonpartisan group Common Cause accuses the president of spreading misinformation about mail-in voting to sow distrust. It's how soldiers voted during the Civil War. It is how a number of states operate their entire elections. But Arizona Republican Senator Martha McSally echoes the president's concerns that some states are not prepared for universal mail-in ballots. I, I disagree with this close to an election. States are at the federal level having some sort of mass mail-out ballots uh, uh, to everyone on the voter rolls. That has some real, I have real concerns with that. We asked Governor Doug Ducey today if he believes it's appropriate for the president to withhold Postal Service funding. Ducey declining to answer the question directly. Do you think it's appropriate for the president to take that kind of stance against mail-in balloting, especially during this pandemic? Well, my focus is, is on the state of Arizona, and Arizona is a model of, of excellence for mail-in balloting. Stuck in the middle of the controversy, postal service workers, including those in Arizona, just trying to do their jobs. The problem that I'm seeing is that once you politicize the mail flow, that it becomes more of a, of a money issue, of a funding issue, and we're asking for more money for the post office so we can do our jobs better, and we're not getting the funding, so then that causes less hiring, that causes less machines to run. The Democrats' presumptive nominee, Vice President Joe Biden, says he interprets the president's threats to mean that he just doesn't want an election. Joe Dana, 12 News. All right, Joe, thank you.